Welcome to another Tequen episode. Today, we're going to be taking a look at this hunking beast that Dell call the Precision M90, otherwise known as the ultimate mobile workstation of 2006. I love them all, I love them all, and if they came again, I'd do the same again. This absolute beast is packing a Core 2 Duo T7400, running a clock speed of 2.16 GHz, which would have originally run alongside a single gigabyte of memory, now upgraded with an extra 2 gigabyte stick. And the storage, a trusty 256 gigabyte Crucial M4 SSD, over the original mechanical 100 gig hard drive. And of course, it wouldn't be a workstation without some graphical horsepower. That's where the 512 megabyte Nvidia Quadro FX 1500M steps in. This has been in my dad's possession since new, and he still holds on to it today as it is one of the best laptops he has ever used. He even argues that his ThinkPad was less reliable than this Dell, but then again, my dad has always favoured Dell as his computer brand, buying three Dell Dimension 8400s at once when they were new, because of their reliability. And not only that, he still uses his 2011 Dell Studio XPS 8100, the one I made a video on upgrading recently. Taking a look around this massive beast, when we reach the rear I.O., it's immediately apparent that this is not a MacBook from the past couple years. Dell essentially packed every single I.O. port of 2006 that you can think of into this thing. It's actually pretty impressive how many ports they got into this machine. Now, as we boot up the system, prepare for some pure ASMR. Here we log into my account from 2012. This was the first laptop that I ever really had access to, and I certainly used it for a variety of things. I even used to film my early videos on it. We can see here, when we enter this folder, with a rather unusual name. But all of a sudden, our nostalgia trip is interrupted. Okay then. Maybe it doesn't like looking through photos. Halfway through looking at the files on my desktop, the laptop blue screened with the memory management error. Not ideal for proving this laptop's reliability. The computer now refused to boot when I pressed the power button. And to troubleshoot, I tried removing the one gigabyte stick of memory with no luck. So I next removed the two gigabyte stick which allowed the laptop to finally boot up again, which means that the stick of memory must have died halfway through recording. That's always ideal. Now that we're back into Windows, I thought now would be a good time to run some benchmarks to take a close look at the performance of this machine. After realising that Geekbench 3 requires Windows 7, we'll have to use Geekbench 2 for this one. After running the test, the Precision came back with a reasonable score of 2361. Not bad for such an old machine. I thought whilst I still had some time, I'd try out the copy of Project 64 that was on the desktop. Booting up into Super Mario 64, totally legal ROM of course, we pulled a score of 29 frames per second average. But while kicking it up to full screen, Nothing really changes and we still have a score of 29 FPS. So if you're looking to run emulated games on this thing, it'll be perfect. All in all, I have absolute respect for this machine. It helped me to create some of my earliest videos. It might not have been a gaming beast, but productivity wise, this machine was excellent for your average business use in 2006. In fact, my dad thought it was so good he bought a second one later down the line. 